I think we can all agree that we need our clowns, our zanies, our fools. My clown spirit and soul were sore amazed at the ferocity of the deadly attack on our capital on January 6th. The hate and anger palpable and obvious to all. I'm having trouble wrapping my mind around the events of that day and the ongoing threats of violence and disruption. It comes as no surprise now that the Capitol has become an armed compound, complete with concertina wire and thousands of armed National Guard troops. In fact, every state's capital is under threats of attack. During a time when we should all be concentrating on our health, we're pulled into this political upheaval. Thank God they figured out who inflamed this out of control mob and even impeached him for it. One way I stay true to my clown spirit is to show up at our Wednesday morning vigils. It feels like a little bit of justice to protest such inflammatory acts as separating children from their families and putting them in cages. And I think it shows our church's heart to the community as they pass by these weekly gatherings. I used to find a great deal of grace in clowning, so privileged to share in the lives of precious children. Often I was the oldest person in the crowd having the best time. Now I wonder how much the little ones are being affected first by the pandemic separation, then this news of adults acting like crazy movie characters on a riotous rampage. The loss of my mother recently has removed from my life her constant calming words and wisdoms. I was so bereft at her passing, I wondered if I'd ever laugh again. The long Sunday afternoon conversations she and I would have every week will comprise the best memories I keep of her. In my personal life with my three siblings, I've always seen myself as the oddball, the outsider, never married, no kids, flying solo as it were. And somehow over the years I've allowed perhaps even helped build a sort of insurmountable wall between my sister and I. And as we went through the process of losing our mom, that wall seemed to melt away. She is a hugely talented theater instructor, director, mom, and now a grandma herself, and she's a fellow Unitarian. <laughs> it's hard to describe how great it feels to have her back in my life, but it makes me very happy. Yes, I had a rough 2020, but so did we all. I have high hopes for 2021, though looking at the political landscape, it's hard to get too overly optimistic. It was a very hard blow to hear of the passing of Ken Keep. He was a clown at heart and so full of good life. I'll never forget his silly fish hat and his corny jokes. His presence here will surely be missed. Still, as always, I say we need the clowns and the zanies, the fools, to lift us up and remind us not to get stuck in negative walls and borders, to show some sparkle, glitter, and shine to a world seemingly awash in turmoil and darkness. We all know laughter is healing. It's a blessing that we have the capacity for laughter and joy. Please share that gift as often as you can, even now, especially now. Blessings. <laughs>